All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office, I guess you would call it. Getting ready to do a video on this thing they call the U.S. will require background checks for gun shows and online firearm sales. Well, <laughs> the gun show loophole. Well, you know what, guys? It's pretty much been that way forever and ever. I mean, I do, and I don't really sell my guns, but I do have some guns. The only thing that I could think of this has affected me is I needed to pay for a surgery or something stupid like that and wanted to sell my gun so I could pay for something. It would turn me into a so-called dealer. This comes to the way of us by The Guardian. Okay, this is a, uh, I'll put the link down below to this thing. Um, this is historic action by Justice Department. Closes the doggone dangerous loophole in the Biden administration's fight against gun violence. Well, how is this going to help with gun violence? Okay, so do you think criminals give two shits about this? What this does is it takes the law-abiding citizen and turns them into a criminal. Say, for instance, uh, you need to sell some guns. Like I just said earlier, man, if I, was, I need to have surgery or you know a testicle removed or something like that, uh, I needed to sell some guns to raise money to do this. I'm not making a profit. I'm just trying to raise money so I can get my testicle removed. Let me know what your thoughts are down below about your testicles. Okay, we might as well have fun with this, right? Uh, the sale of firearms on the internet and at gun shows in the U.S. will in future be subject to mandatory background checks. The Justice Department said on Thursday as it announced a historic new action to keep weapons out of hands of criminals. So, um, you being a responsible gun owner, right? I think if, if you own guns, you got to be responsible enough to own them, right? And the Brainiac. Uh, there's a thing that if you are allowed to have a firearm based on the law, right? If you are not a felon or whatever, uh, there's going to be some people out there who's going to argue about that, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, you're going to sell your gun to a responsible and fellow responsible person. You're not out there selling them off to criminals. Uh, I guess this is what they think is criminals are always, hey, if this was the case, why don't we go to the gun shows and arrest everybody? Because evidently those are the criminals buying these guns. Okay, the closing of the so-called gun show loophole, which exempts private transactions from restrictions that apply to licensed dealers. Hmm. Yeah, as has long been a goal of the Biden administration and is specifically targeted in the rule published in the Federal Register today. Okay, so I guess it's a rule. Uh, we'll get to the details of this thing here in a minute, but it's funny to me that this administration, and we'll talk about Kamala, Kamala Harris here in a few seconds, uh, under the race regulation, it will not matter if guns are sold on the internet, at a gun show, or at a brick and mortar store, if you sell guns predominantly to earn a profit. In other words, you have to earn, earn a profit. How is this going to be determined that if you sell guns to, to earn earn a profit, okay, uh, you must be licensed and you must conduct background checks. Attorney General Merrick Garland told reporters on a press call announcing the measure. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, this regulation is a historic step in the Justice Department's fight against gun violence. It will save lives. There's not really anything different. Like I said, the only thing it's going to do is restrict the, the, the law-abiding person. You think these guys, the criminals out there, you talk about Philly, Chicago, New York, these assholes out there really give two shits about this whole thing? The real, which clarifies who is considered to be engaged in business as firearms dealers, uh, will take effect in 30 days. It's funny, but uh, as follows the three-month consultation period that attracted almost 388,000 comments to the website of the ATF. The White House estimates that 22% of the guns owned by Americans were acquired without a background check. Have you ever sold a gun in a Walmart parking lot? Uh, and about 23,000 more individuals will be required to be a licensed dealer, licensed as a dealer after the rules of implementation. I don't know. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. This is absolutely ridiculous. There's a large growing black market of guns being sold by people in business of dealing and doing it without a license. And therefore, they are not running background checks the way the law requires. It's not safe for innocent law-abiding Americans. In fact, it's a doggone dangerous. That's what the old Biden dude says. Garland presented the rules hardening as a 2022 Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. Whatever. The regulation expands the definition of who must obtain a license con and conduct background checks before selling the guns. Well, how much money are you supposed to be able to earn when doing this? Does it dictate that? Like if you're, you bought a gun for 500 and you sell a gun for 500, you're not making a profit, right? You're just replenishing and replacing the money that you out 
poor in income. Okay, so it um, intra family transfers of firearms or occasional sales to enhance a collection will not be presumed business transaction. A White House spokesperson said, I wonder if Sweet Potato said that. The new rule is the latest in a series of unilateral steps Biden administration has taken to tighten gun control, gun laws, while at the same time uh, highlighting the difficulty of getting legislation through Congress. Uh, all right, so in September, Biden tapped Harris, Kamala, <laughs> to lead the first federal gun violence prevention office. And the pair have repeatedly urged Congress to pass tougher regulations, including a ban on private ownership of assault weapons. Wait a minute. Ban on a private ownership because only government and police officers the people in control should have uh, opportunity. Hey, working on some uh, moonshine, man. I'm running a uh, thing of what called uh, it's must be a mimic Basil Hayden's. And this morning, I ran. I put the mash together yesterday. And this morning, man, I'm gonna tell you something. Look at the percolator. This thing's going on for decades. Many dealers who sell weapons someplace other than the traditional gun store, say a gun show or flea market, or through social media, have gotten away with conducting background checks. Okay, blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah. That's it. Now, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. It's kind of pissing me off. So with that, let me know what your thoughts are down below, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, big regulations. Uh, up Chuck you, bud, Biden. With that, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. Kimmy 32, and I'm out of here. Boom. Y'all be good. Check the shooting out. See ya.